Shiva's Grace You all might have heard various distinct stories regarding Mahashivratri. Some say this was the day Lord Shiva took the form of a linga and some believe that this was the day Lord Shiva and Lady Parvati got married. And hence whoever on this day with complete devotion and pure heart keeps a fast in the name of the Lord and prays to him Lord Shiva certainly showers them with his blessings. And today we are going to tell you a heartwarming story of such a devotee Riya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Take some holy offering, child. It is really necessary to visit the temple daily, huh? Can't you just stay at home? I swear, Auntie, I did all the work you asked me. Ah, so now you are going to answer me back, huh? Go, make something for breakfast. Ria's parents had died, and that's why she used to live with her parental uncle and auntie. But her auntie never liked her around, and made her do all the housework. and this was the sole reason that riya used to feel so distant and aloof but she had a great faith in lord shiva and she often used to worship the lord and tried forgetting all her problems and used to find peace in the holy worshiping shh shh riya yes keshav tell me how come you were here at this time Your auntie yet again scolded you, right? So I thought you might feeling upset. Oh my God, Kesha, you care for me so much. Don't you worry, Riya. Soon I will take you with me forever, and we'll live a happy life. What? Really? Ah, so this is what you do behind my back these days, huh? Wait now, I will teach you a lesson. <laughs> Come inside the house with me. <laughs> Auntie, please listen to me. Ria and Keshav tried their level best to explain things to Ria's auntie, but she was reluctant to hear anything from them and dragged Ria inside the house immediately. From today onwards, you are not allowed to move out alone. You just wait till your uncle returns home. I will tell him what all you have been doing here in his absence. <laughs> Now that Ria was grounded, she was the one doing all the household work. And on the other hand, even Kesha was feeling uneasy without Ria. And so, in order to meet her, Kesha started to keep an eye around her home. <laughs> oh, Nama, she why? Why lord why am i the only one to suffer i don't think i love anyone so why does aunty dislike me so much only keshav loves me but because of aunty even he drifted away now only you can help me out shiva <laughs> Child, Mahashivratri is around the corner, and so there is going to be a massive event to celebrate the occasion. And so I am here to collect the fund for the same. <laughs> I will get it. Till then, you please come inside. What happened to you, my child? You look so upset. Mm, nothing much, Auntie. I know that you are Shiva devotee. and you also love someone unconditionally how do you know so much about me you don't have to think about it at all but just do as i say and everything you desire for me will come true really what do i have to do you have to keep fast on the occasion of mahashivratri do not sleep that night stay awake the entire night Keep praying for him 
he certainly will fulfill all your wishes and so riya did as that old woman asked her to whatever she said had got stuck in riya's mind really deeply and she decided to keep the fast as that old woman said and after a few days lord shiva i will certainly keep the fast on mahashivratri i just hope you bless me with keshav what did he say you took the name of that guy yet again ha huh? nasi i have not let you keep the fast only <laughs> oh god what do i do now mahashivratri is tomorrow and auntie would never understand she would never let me keep this fast but come what may i will definitely keep this fast riya thought about it quite a lot and next day she woke up early in the morning and went to shiva's shrine without telling her auntie and there she with all her heart prayed to lord shiva and chanted his name the entire day and then the next morning when nobody was in the shrine that old women came back and told riya open your eyes riya auntie you child you have performed all the rituals as i asked you to and so now all your wishes will be granted what really but how on asking that old women told riya to bow down in front of the lord and as soon as riya bowed down in front of lord shiva that women transformed into goddess parvati and lord shiva appeared in the place of the shivling seeing all this riya's mind was blown away get up riya i am impressed with your devotion and the purity you have in your heart i bless you i grant all your wishes tathastu thank you lord i am very grateful of you riya my child now you go back to your home you don't think about anything negative all hail down to lord shiva and lady parvati After that Riya went back to her home and sees that her uncle had also returned home even her auntie and Keshav stood a little stressed there on seeing Riya there her auntie said ah ha ha look at her this is the consequence of pampering her so much she was about to run away with this boy no uncle that's not the truth you just shut up she doesn't even help in any household work Rather she stays disappear like this only. Huh? I was in the shrine only. Trust me uncle. You shut up. I very well know what you are like and what Riya is like. Don't you worry Riya. I always treated you like my own child. I trust your choice. So I will definitely get you both married. And I promise you with proper rituals, understand? And then soon Riya's uncle got both Keshav and Riya married. with proper rituals after which both riya and keshav lived happily ever after we hope that just like riya lord shiva showers you all with his blessings if you enjoyed this video do like share and comment and to be the first person to watch our videos make sure to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for timely notifications